We're in a new chapter and we're going to talk about measurement and this is understanding length and height, 8.1. We can use any object to measure a length or a height. Students at MIT, that's the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, they measured the Harvard Bridge with their classmate Oliver Smoot. They actually measured a bridge with a person. And the bridge is 364.4 smoots and one ear. That means Oliver had to lay down and get measured 364 times and there was a little bit left over that was the size of one of his ears. Now if you want to see the story of this, there's a link in the description so you can click on it and read about it. Well, we can use cubes or crayons or anything to measure. He says he's five paper plates tall. You could use anything. Now look at this. Here's the length of this. It's about two markers long. Length is how long something is and height is how tall. So this is one marker, two marker. See? It's not exact. It's an estimate. It's about two markers long. We can measure objects with cubes and each cube is one unit. We can estimate how many cubes about how many cubes do you think this boot is for its length going this way? Here's the cubes. About how many of these cubes do you think would line up along the bottom here? Well, here's one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe about six of them. Can we put like six here? That's three, four, five, six. So we estimated about six. And then we use the cubes to see if our guess was correct. Well, actually, it looks like we can put another cube here, doesn't it? See that? So really, it's about seven cubes long. We guessed six and we were close. And when we actually used the cubes, we found out they were seven. So you can find things around your house and you can use cubes that are one inch cubes or any size cube and you can measure things. You could also use a comb or a hairbrush or a paper plate or blocks, anything, and see how many there are. You can see how tall you are with paper plates or with anything, okay, with crayons. So let's try some problem solving. Tala's hair clip is three cubes long. Emma's hair clip is about double the length of Tala's. About how long is Emma's hair clip? Well, we have to think about this. Tala's is three cubes. So that's important. So we should circle that. Emma's is about double. Okay? So that's important. Double means twice. So that means Tala's is going to be counted two times. So if hers is three cubes, we do three cubes plus three cubes, and we get six cubes. So we know Emma's hair clip is about six cubes. It's bigger, isn't it? What would the length in cubes be if it was double Emma's? Emma's was six cubes, so we would just double six cubes. Six cubes plus six cubes. And that would give us 12 cubes. See? Here's another one. Bob's foot is 14 cubes long. His brother's foot is three less. What is the length in cubes of his brother's foot? So the important things in this word problem are 14 and three less. Less is a clue word for subtraction. So we need to do 14 minus three. We find out four minus three is a one. We bring the one down. His brother's foot is about 11 cubes long. See? So you could have measurements in anything, markers or hairbrushes or pencils or anything, okay? We usually use rulers to measure, but you could use anything to measure. You could even measure in smoots, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.